I'm going to take you on a journey. So we'll just have a a, a quick journey. And what what I want to do with this journey, and you guys check me off if you kind of get five, 10 minutes from now and get to the end of this, you just check me on this and see if this feels like something that altered who you are in the world. So um, everybody will close their eyes and just sense your body in space. It's like, where are you? Maybe you've been leaning forward, but you're not comfortable. Maybe you're doing something, and now I'm asking you to close your eyes. So just find a place you can sit down. It doesn't have to be on the floor. It could be in a chair. Um, just any place that you can be comfortable for a minute. Sense the, the boundaries of your body. Like we don't, we don't consider so much where we end and the world begins. But where are you in space? We're going to feel into the center of our body now. And I want you to do three breaths with me. And this is a breath that's going to interrupt your patterned brain. We're going to hold our breath at the top when we finish inhaling, and we're going to hold our breath at the bottom when we finish exhaling. So inhale with me. And hold. And exhale. And hold. Inhale. And hold. Exhale. And hold. Inhale one more time and hold. Exhale and let your breathing return to a normal rhythm. And I want you to imagine yourself now floating in space. You're standing, but the space around you is empty. It's a calm and safe space that feels familiar and very, very comfortable. Now I want you to imagine your parents standing behind you, one on either shoulder. And if they were inclined to do so and you were comfortable with them doing this, please let them put a hand on your shoulder. Imagine them standing behind you with their hands on your shoulder, and now imagine their parents standing behind them. Your grandparents with their hands on your parents' shoulders, and your parents with their hands on your shoulders. And now imagine your great-grandparents behind them, three generations back, and their parents behind them, four generations back. You may not even know the names of your fourth generation back great-great-grandparents. Maybe the nickname they had. But imagine them, four generations lined up behind you and five generations, their parents behind them. Like I say, this is far beyond what most of us can remember, but we are going to continue back through time, generation by generation, six generations, seven generations, eight, nine, ten generations. This is back to the time of the founding early days of the idea that became the United States of America, that became the French Revolution, the economic system we have today was invented at 10 generations back. And we'll go a little faster to 15 generations behind you, 20 generations behind you. This is 500 years in the past, about the time at the end of the Renaissance, and with 11, 12 generations, we can see Michelangelo carving David out of stone in Italy. 15, 
20 generations, 25, 30 generations, 35 generations, and back to the time of Rome and the, and the emperors. Going to go back 40 and 50 generations, and 60 generations were back to the time of the Buddha, the time of, of Christ. We're going to go back 70, 80 generations, and 90 generations. And we're going to arrive in Plato's Academy in Greece, the root of our Western knowledge. And I want you to imagine a hundred generations behind you and know that every single person in those 100 generations was required, was absolutely essential for you to be. If any one of them did not have a life, you would not have been born. Your life is literally given by a hundred generations and more. And everything that you know, the language you speak, all of your knowledge, everything that this world is was given to you, worked through generation by generation. Each generation giving their gifts and living their passion and purpose to create a step forward. And it's all flowing to you in this moment. We'll come back now from 100 to 50 to 30 to 20, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back to now. I want you to feel that arrow shape of a hundred generations standing behind you. And at the same time, I want you to imagine the generation before you. Maybe you have children, or you're dreaming of having children, or maybe your brother or sister has a child. But imagine a child in front of you and place your hand on the shoulder of that child, knowing that you are giving your life and support to that child. And imagine their children in front of them, your grandchildren to be and imagine their children in front of them, your great-grandchildren to be, and your great-great-grandchildren in front of them. And you have reached out and put your hand on the shoulder of your children, and each generation is reaching forward, placing their hands on the generation before them. At four generations, your name may no longer be known, but you are part of their ancestry now. And I want you to imagine a gift, some beautiful gift that you could give forward in time. Maybe it's a, a value or a way of being, or I want them to be safe and protected. And I want you to imagine that gift coming from your heart and transmitting generation by generation to your fourth generation. And then you're going to see that gift go forward to five generations and 10, and 20 generations, and 30 generations. At 30 generations, you will have a billion descendants. If you can give a gift of love and heart forward, 30 generations, you can touch the lives of a billion people. 40 generations, 50 generations, 60 generations, 70, 80, 90, and 100 generations in front of you now. See them spreading out wide. You have no idea where their lives will lead, but if you have given your gift to them, you know that the future they live will be enriched by your life. 100 generations, 2,500 years into the future. Just imagine all of your descendants and the great things they will do, the crazy adventures they may have. And I want you to come back to now from 100 to 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one. I want you to hold your hands out in front of you, maybe place them palms up on your lap. In your left hand, I want you to hold a hundred generations back, 2,500 years of time. And in your right hand, I want you to hold a hundred generations into the future, 2,500 years. You're holding a 5,000 year arc of time you're holding it connected to your ancestors and your descendants. And you can feel in this moment time flowing through you. This is your moment to live your life and give your gifts and change the future for everyone. Now take your hands in that 5,000 years of the gifts you've received and the gifts you re- you've given and place them on your heart. Just fold your hands up and place them on your heart. Take a deep breath with me in and exhale. One more time in. And out. Let this soak into your being that you are beyond what you thought you were. You have more ability to hold vastness than you've ever known. The universe is conspiring with you to give your gifts. Now when you're ready, you can open your eyes and arrive back into this moment, a bigger person than you've ever been before. Sorry about beautiful. the tears that happens No, a lot. <laughs> that's so beautiful. I That was so empowering to visualize like how big that many generations are. And also I just got emotional because, you know, when you're thinking of your, your parents and the people behind you, they're, even with the parents, there's a little bit of a trauma, a little bit of like, mm, do I want them to put their hand on me? <laughs> there's a little bit of that. But then once it becomes to like, oh, your future kids or your, you know, the future generations, then it starts to get more emotional because you're, because then you just have so much love and so much like, oh, I do have so much that I want to give. And, oh, that was really cool. Thank you for sharing. I was like, wow, the universe, the t- time is flowing through me. Right? I That's love right. That. I think of it sometimes like you're a, a bead on a, a strand of, of, of twine or a cord like around your neck. That's that present moment. And it's just sliding along. And we only have in our experience this present moment. That's the only thing we're gifted. We don't ever get to be in the past. We never get to go be in the future. Now we can imagine them just like we did. We have this amazing capacity to imagine. Did you ever think you could travel 5,000 years that you'd be a time traveler? No, but in 10 minutes, you, you easily did it. Yeah. Like it's a, everybody listening to this podcast is gifted. You're gifted by being a human being have this capacity to imagine these just amazing things. Um, the problem is that sometimes we don't imagine, that we get our imagine, imagination gets turned down to one instead of turned up to 11. And so I'm, I'm all for everybody turning it up. I love that. Thank you for that. I just think so many people, their, pers- their framework of the world is so like in this life and they're just I, I think once you take that step back, like a huge step back, you realize, oh, there's the possibilities are endless. Like I can use my life to do anything to shape the future of the world. And it, it becomes very empowering. Like it, each one of us has a gift that, and we can influence it, influence the world in some way. We shouldn't just, just judge the size of our gift. Um, there's so many stories of people being touched by just one random act of kindness and changing their lives. You may not even know the, the good that you spread. And if you give a lot of good and you do as much as you can, then you have, you, you have the odds of, of 
you know, being a good ancestor to your descendants. And I think that's a beautiful way to conduct our lives. I think there's so many things that um, society has us chasing after, you know, wealth, um, fame, whatever, a better job, a better, a better partner. And most of them actually are only satisfying for just a little while. And then we're left back with who we are. And if who we are is someone that uh, finds meaning in life, has purpose, and does our life's work in the world, then no matter what changes or alters, we'll always have that. We'll always have the, I'm here for a reason. I count, I matter. And even if nobody notices what I do in the world, it still makes a difference.